What's going on, Scott? I was gonna be late, so I had to come down here. I'm almost done. Got a hush puppy. What's going on, guys? How we doing? I'm almost done. What's going on, Scott? Babe, thanks for the late dinner. BT, what's going on, dude? How you doing, buddy? Tim, what's going on, dude? How you doing? Yes, sir, man. Eating some crappie. It is very good. Better than answering a phone in the bathroom. <laughs> yeah. What's going on, Ron? Bill, what's up, dude? How you guys doing? I'm almost done eating. What's going on, Richard? How you doing, buddy? And I'm done. So what is up? Yes, sir, Tom. My crappie was fantastic, man. We still got a few bags left, so we'll do a catch and cook here uh, really soon. <clears throat> we actually were supposed to do that today. I didn't have enough time. I got home from work, so I think we're going to do it actually this Thursday. What's going on, Trevor? Robert, what's going on, dude? Brett, glad you made it, buddy. All-Star. Dude, it's been a while, man. How you been? You still doing that um, All-Star Ride Review? Brian, what's going on, dude? Been a while, man. Good to see you. Travis, what's up, buddy? Daryl, how we doing, man? Jeff, what's up? Mad Matt in the house, what's up, man? Weather starting to heat up. Dude, yeah, I tell you what. I think Monday's going to be like mid-60s or something. I think this week, uh, obviously I won't be on my boat. You know, I don't have my boat yet. It's not in yet. I'm not going to take out the tracker that's sold. He's picking that up on the 21st of this month. So the tracker will be gone. But I'm either going to go right down the road to the park lake or I might go out to the farm ponds. But I'm getting on the board this week, dude, for sure, man. Colton's going on, buddy. Appreciate the buck. You're entered in the giveaway. We'll go over that here in a little bit. Bass Bump, what's up, dude? What's going on? Lee, James, Fishing with Tate. What's going on, buddy? Brian, appreciate you sharing on Facebook, man. Fishing Fat Man, what's up? All-Star, unfortunately, you lost all the footage, man. I don't know about that. That sounds kind of like an excuse to me, dude. Warm up in North this week, but fishing season is still at least 60 days away. Five summer baits. We'll be doing a video on that. I do have other videos on my top five. Summer baits, fall baits, spring baits, winter baits. You guys can look that up on the channel, but we'll do some newer videos of those uh, this year for sure. Man, Matt, appreciate two bucks, buddy. You're entered in the giveaway. What's going on, Carson? Heavy arms. Appreciate two bucks, buddy. You're entered in the giveaway as well. What's going on, Mike? What's going on, Mike? Two mics in the house. Perry, what's up, dude? Missed the last couple of SNL due to work. Glad I made this one. Yeah, I wasn't even on last week, buddy. I missed it for some reason. I'm not real sure. Maybe I had to work late. I don't know what happened last week. What's going on, Charles? All-star, going to try and make it again. That'd be cool, dude. Andrew, what's going on, dude? Is there enough soft plastic samples in your yeah. Do you guys like that? That video got like 20 thumbs down. So there must have been uh, some guys that got offended from that video. I figured they would. What's going on, Jerry, Steve, Lee? What's going on, dude? Appreciate two bucks, buddy. You're entering the giveaway. Bass Bum, appreciate two bucks. You're entering the giveaway as well. Man, Matt, yeah, man. Hoping we are on Thawne in the next week. Dude, that's crazy. You're only a few hours north of me and that you're still froze. That's crazy, dude. 60 today, mid-50s for the forecast. So I think we did have some ice on the lake a week or so back, but we're thawed out now. I'd imagine temps are got to be mid-40s. Could even be higher than that. Brian went fishing today. Finesse jig caught four small ones, but was fun. Yeah, dude, just wet in the line would be fun. What's going on, Mike? How you doing, buddy? Still have another month of ice on the lake ponds here in Maine. That's crazy, dude. The old hook and sinker. She's feeling well. The boys were both sick, and then she got it, and she just got better 
uh, a couple days ago, so she's doing better as well. I think they all had strep. I got on the board earlier this week, then it went down to 28 degrees. That sounds about right. Lee sitting in his girl's four-hour meeting. What's going on, Aaron? How you doing, buddy? Jared, what's up? Bass Assassin. We miss Miss TJ. Babe, if you're watching this, why don't you come on down? They miss you. Don't worry about your hair. Mike, appreciate you bucks, buddy. A lot of you guys are donating. I really do appreciate that. If you guys are new to the channel or new to SNLs, we usually do a giveaway um, every, <coughs> every Sunday Night Live. If you guys donate, you're interested in the giveaway. And I do make it a point to tell you guys I never ask for donations. I do appreciate it. I put the money back into the channel. But I do like to give back to those that do give. So I do a little giveaway for those, like I said, that do donate. Tonight we have a pack of Wild Cross. Plasma Tails. Another pack of Plasma Tails here. We have a lifted jig. We have rapid fishing line guides. Both sizes. Standard and the micro. And then we got... The Bagley Flat Balls of B2. And then we got a Lucky Craft Square Bill. And then a little sample here of the Mend It. So if you guys donate, you're entered in that little giveaway. Really appreciate that. The Tackle Junkies on the air. All Stars going live this week. It's cool. Doug, what's going on, bud? Been a while. Check water temperature today. Small pond, 40, 45 degrees. Water should really start to warm up. Pretty quickly. Yeah, dude, that's what I'm hoping, man. The temps look good for the next two weeks. I didn't see any days uh, below freezing. And some of those days, yeah, where I think the lows were mid-40s or so, so that should definitely get the water temp up pretty fast. Brett, appreciate two bucks, buddy. It's another giveaway. It's 70 down here in Texas. Well, that's fantastic, man. You and BT should be loving that weather. Enrique, what's up, dude? Perry TJ81, I'm looking for a good cranking rod, no brand name, and specific looking for at least seven foot rod. Which action and power do I need to look for? <coughs> I think the most important thing, I mean, like you said, get whatever brand you can afford. You guys know I like the Akuma rods. Um, they're very reasonable priced. The cranking rods are like 109, I believe, or it could even be 99 for the EVX. That's the one I use the most. Uh, I do like the TCS as well. But uh, it loads the 3 8 and that's what I'm going to tell you to look for. So depending on the weight of your bait really determines the rod you're going to choose. So if you're going to toss lighter baits, look for a cranking rod that loads a little bit lighter. Like the EVX loads at a quarter, the TCS loads the 3 8 So if you throw a lot of lighter cranks, you may want to go um, with the one that loads a lighter weight. You can't so much go on power just because like the TCS is a medium plus, loads a 3.8. The EVX is a medium heavy that loads at a quarter. So you really can't look at the power. Some, in some cases you can, um, but as far as the cranking rods go, they are a little bit different from time to time. So I would just look at the lure weight on the rod and that'll help you determine which one you need as far as uh, the weights that you normally throw or the size base you normally throw. But again, just get whatever you can afford. Again, I do um, really like the Akuma rods and they're, like I said, they're very, I'm reasonably priced at 100 bucks. We do have 101 people on here. 33 thumbs up. If you guys have not hit the thumbs up yet, definitely do that. Really do appreciate that. Duke Boy, what's up, man? Woods at Elk Grove, Illinois. Frozen? No kidding. What are some of your cold weather baits? You guys know I don't really go out and fish in the, <coughs> in the real cold and all that, you know? I would say, though, early spring when I start out with, Chatterbait, for sure. Um, and guys ask, too, when do I choose a chatterbait over a spinnerbait? I do like the chatterbait in colder water. I don't believe it's as invasive as the spinnerbait. Spinnerbait's got a lot going on, you know, with the skirt, the blades and all that. Again, I like the chatterbait. Uh, tighter vibration and all that in colder water. Jig, you know, if they're um, relating to the bottom, obviously, not in colder water. Dragging a jig or a texture or something like that on the bottom. But I'd say my, my go-to baits in the winter would be or the colder water, we'll just say, would be a, a jig and a chatterbait. As it warms up, I'm going to go to the spinnerbait and a squirrelbill, but I definitely do start out with those two baits. Of course, there's a lot of other options, you know, depending on water clarity and things like that. I'm sure a lot of guys, um, who knows, may drop shot or something like that in the wintertime if they're down deep and, and things like that. But the fish, or the lakes that I fish, don't set up like that. So, yeah, there's no 
drop shotting and things like that on the lakes that I'm fishing. Dickie, what's going on, dude? What reel would you recommend, Luz or Kuma Baitcaster? Man, that's a tough call. It depends on, uh, it really depends on your price range and really what you're looking for. You know, if you're looking for, you know, to use heavier line, casting big baits, you know, I might go lose, you know, BB1 Pro. If you're looking for a smaller finesse size reel with a lot of power that I feel could do many different techniques, I'd go with the Akuma. Um, the Custom Pro can do that as well from lose, but it's like 70 bucks more. So it really depends, like I said, what you're looking for, budget, things like that. But both companies make fantastic reels. I'm just now getting to eat. I'll stop down in a bit. Okay. <clears throat> What's going on, Will? How have things been missed your last week? I, I don't think I was on last week, buddy. But things are good. Can't complain, man. It's warming up here. I'm excited to get out there and fish. No word on the boat yet. Like I said earlier, the tracker leaves the garage on the 21st of this month. And I believe we're probably five or six weeks in as far as the eight to 10 week wait on the um, crest liner. So maybe end of this month, first week of April, hopefully it's here. But um, just looking back, I always look back. That's why I take pictures of like everything when I'm out on the water. As far as like fishing from the bank and boat and all that kind of stuff. And normally I don't start fishing from the boat and really start catching fish. Usually till May. I usually hit the ponds. I'm usually March and April, so... If I end up getting the boat in April, I'll still be ahead of the game because I'm going to get it out as soon as possible. I usually like to try and beat my, my fish record each year if I can catch a fish from the bank um, quicker than I did the year before. And same with the boat and all that. I do believe I've already missed the date, though, as far as my first fish for the year because I believe it was February 29th of uh, the year before, so I've already missed that one. Where are we at? Got my air fried potato skins and my two-year-old. We are ready for SNL. There you go, Ed. Appreciate it, buddy. Can't stay on too long, but want to get on here for a little bit. Appreciate it, Doug. Travis, appreciate five bucks, buddy. You're in the giveaway. BT said temps here were on the rise, but two cold fronts. Um, reckless hard. Water temp down in the dude, 60s is like perfect, though, man. I'm sure you're loving that. Uh, the PC fun reels, uh, no problems at all with those. They're a little bit bigger. I would say they're not really like a finesse type feeling reel that the ones that I've used has dual braking. So I do like that as well. Having uh, the best of both worlds as far as braking systems go. I can't say I had any issues with the PC funds. Cast Kings, I have not used. I have still yet to throw line this year. Aaron, dude, I don't know how you're, uh, sitting in that brand new, beautiful boat, man, and not uh, making a cast yet, dude. Yep, a little sample amended in the giveaway tonight, Brian. It's kind of funny, too. The owner <coughs> the owner had made a comment on that video, and I pinned his comment. If you guys remember in the video, I had dripped some mendit on my finger, and um, I didn't pay attention to it or not. It's just, just like super glue. You want to hurt and get off your finger. But he said they made mendit to where it will not stick to your skin. So you cannot, like, glue your fingers together. It's only made to stick to soft plastics. So that is pretty cool to know if you guys didn't know that. That is pretty cool. What's going on, Jeff? Appreciate 10 bucks, buddy. You're in the giveaway. Thanks for the info on Daiwa Reels. I got to try out Tattoo CT today, and it is as good as all my Shimano DCs. And the third cost. First cast, didn't have to thumb it at all. Yeah, dude, man. The CT, it's, it's one heck of a reel, man. For sure. I'm glad you're liking it. Again, I do appreciate 10 bucks. You're entering the giveaway. Uh, Doug, appreciate 5 bucks, buddy. You're in the giveaway. Richard, appreciate 5 bucks, buddy. You're in the giveaway as well. Uh, fishing with Dave. Good evening. Sitting here doing some mods to a herring head jig. That's cool, dude. Bet you guys are enjoying your Sunday. January 14th was the last day I caught a fish. We'll make up for that this week. I bought a GoPro Session 5. Going to have more than pictures this year. That's cool, Tom. Looking forward to that, man. Are you going to make a YouTube channel? Are you just going to post them up on Facebook? What's your plan for that? Scott, appreciate five bucks, buddy. You are interested in the giveaway snack for your after meal. <laughs> appreciate it, bud. Uh, Brian, appreciate five bucks, buddy. You're interested in the giveaway as well. 
see here. I'm Prom Perry. Sean, appreciate the five bucks, buddy. You're into the giveaway as well. Hope all is well. Hopefully, the nice weather in Illinois stays around for good. Yeah, I look for the the like the long range two week forecast. It looks fantastic. So I do believe um, we're out of the colder weather, but we have had snow in April before. But um, I think thing I don't I doubt we're ever gonna we're not gonna freeze again. That's for sure. So I think we're out of it. Maybe if we get a cold day here and there, but for the most part, I think we're out of the cold weather. So I'm ready to get that boat, get her loaded up, and get on the water. Also, I'm going to go live this Tuesday. What time would be best for you? Uh, I don't know about backyard. I don't know. I don't talk to that dude anymore. Um, and Tuesday, I work all the time. So I won't be able to make it, buddy. Ross, I'm sure you heard me. I know I'm behind on comments here. Raw or the video or the video. The boat should be here hopefully end of the month, maybe the first week of April. Uh, Ed, appreciate five bucks, buddy. You're into the giveaway. Thanks for the minute video. We'll be picking some up next order. Yeah, man, that's good stuff. Actually, if you guys seen the video that I linked down below, I've been using Mendit for probably, I don't know, six, seven years. I just don't talk about it much. But yeah, I got a video that I had linked down below showing you guys and, uh, you know, me that I had uh, repaired baits and things like that. It's good stuff. Have you ever used super glue on your braid to lead or not? I used, yeah, when I used to tie leaders, refs, I did. One drop of glue. But yeah, I really don't even tie leaders anymore. I either throw straight fluorocarbon or if I'm in the mud, I just throw straight braid. What's going on fishing with Mike? Was just gifted an Arden 700 flipping and pitching reel. I'm going to go with 50 pound braid, but not sure if I should use a leader. And what power rod? What would you do? It helps if a fish relatively close to you. Um, 700 pitching reel. 50 pound braid. 50 pound braid. I, I'll just tell you like this. I use, um, as far as leader goes, I mean, that's all on you. And it really depends on the bait, water clarity, things like that. Let's say you're throwing 50 pound braid on a frog. I don't believe there's any need for a leader. Uh, swim jig, again, you're moving the bait. I don't feel there's any need for a leader um, either on that. Maybe if you're pitching and flipping, but again, if you're in like grass and things like that, again, I don't believe there's a need for a leader. It really depends what you're fishing around, how clear the water is, things like that. But I throw braid. Frogs, swim jigs, and if I'm pitching around grass, I do not like braid around wood. And all those combos, I use a heavy power rod. Again, as far as length goes, it just really depends what you're comfortable with and really what you're using the combo for. What's going on, Chris? Fishing by the numbers. Hey, buddy, just got on. Was worried I would miss you tonight. No, dude, I'm here, man. Appreciate you tuning in. I got some four-inch plasma tail. I'm going to try them on the chatterbait. I'm telling you guys, chatterbait, plasma tail, killer combo, dude. Josh, appreciate two bucks, buddy. You're into the giveaway. Thanks for all your input. Enjoy all your videos. Do you appreciate it, buddy? Michael, appreciate two bucks as well. You're into the giveaway. Aaron, appreciate ten bucks. You are into the giveaway as well. You guys are awesome, guy. I really do appreciate the donations. I just put that money back into the channel. You guys will probably see. I'll make the video. I got the order from Tackle Freaks. I mean, it's about a $2,000 order, so that money will come in handy. But uh, it's a lot of hard baits, mainly square bills, um, swim jigs, five reels. And I'll probably make that video maybe this week. You guys should see it the following week. But it's a lot of gear that I plan to review um, this season. I was going to ask for the chatter. I was going to ask for the chatter baits. What size of plasma tails you use? Yep, 4.5, bud. I mean, you can use the bigger ones and cut them down. But the 4.5 is a, is a good size. The C, Nick says the CT is a slide reel, but the 100 and 150 blow it out of the performance. CT is a slide. Maybe you mean fine, but the 100 and 150 blow it out of the... Um, I mean, the CT, dude, it's a workhorse. I really don't think the 100... I haven't used the 150, but I really don't believe... It blows it out of the water as far as performance goes. Um, it could be really the type of baits things you're using. You know, I mainly crank with them. I mean, you guys know that, spinner baits, things like that. But uh, what I do believe it blows it out of the water is feel in hand. The 100 is probably the most comfortable tattoo that I've used to date. 
Uh, Reggie, no update on the SLX DC. I haven't used it yet. And if you are, do if you do want to pick one up, um, I do have a code over there. Tackle Freaks. It's, it's only good on the SLX reels. I believe it's good on the DC and the regular SLX. And you get ten percent off using code TJ81. But it's not good for anything else. Just for those reels. Just because I bought the SLX from them. And uh, like I said, they I did a review on it, so they gave me a code for you guys. What's going on, Mark? How you doing, buddy? We got 130 people still on here. If you guys have not hit the thumbs up, please do that. Really appreciate that. And you guys know maybe from the last, uh, I guess it was probably two or three streams ago, plus I post on Facebook and Instagram, we are bringing out the TJ81 performance shirts again. There were some more interest in them. And I do believe we have maybe 12 or 13 orders. And you guys know I have to get to 25 orders um, to be able to make this doable. So if you guys want one, let me know. I'll have my wife put all the info down in the description. You guys can see it once the video is processed. But we added um, white, military green, and sand. And then the original four colors are available as well. But the long sleeve TJ81 performance shirts, if you guys want one, email. It's in the description. Or you can message me on Facebook or Instagram. Any plans for the Super Chat? Money. Uh, yeah, probably Doug. Just going to go into the, the big order I just placed over at Tackle Freaks. You guys, is there any other reels you guys want reviewed? Uh, rod, I don't do too many rods. Um, mainly reels or any other base you guys want reviewed. You guys can let me know. And I can start putting it towards that. But for right now, I'll just be putting it towards the order that I just made. The last year, we got three inches of random snow, first or second Sunday in May. No kidding. You cheating on your Gatorade with Pepsi. Dude, I still got a fridge full of Gatorade, man. What's going on, Jay? Appreciate you, Bucks, buddy. We're going to the giveaway. Anyone just tuning in, the giveaway for tonight is the Vile Craw Plasma Tails, Plasma Tails, Lifted Jig, both sizes of the Rapid Fishing Line Guides, Bagley. Flat balls of B2, Lucky Craft Square Bill, and a little sample of the Mend It. If you guys donate, you are entered in the giveaway. Pepsi makes Gatorade not so really cheap. <laughs> Thanks for your openness and honest opinions. No problem. Appreciate you guys tuning in. Aaron, new boat is in the shop getting motor recall taken care of. Oil feed port to block. Not completely drilled. Oh, okay, I got you. You might as well get it fixed now, you know. What's your favorite all-around line that works for everything? If you're talking everything, I personally go with mono. Just because, you know, mono is a floating line. And uh, the main, really, the factor there is top water. If you're throwing a popper or a walk-the-dog type bait, if you're throwing it with fluorocarbon, you're only going to get a few pops out of it before the line starts to sink. So if you want a line for everything, you're going to need to go with mono. Now, obviously, mono is not great for everything, but you can pretty much do everything with mono. Looks like Miss Tackle Junkie got somebody. You have any thoughts on the Chatterbait Freedom? Matt, I haven't, I haven't used them, buddy. Really don't know, man. So no thoughts on those. I should pick one up, though. I do believe Carl's has those. I should pick one up. I always like to mention, too, man, anytime I think about it, Carl's guys become a member. And some guys, I think, too, get offended when I talk about Carl's like it's a bait or something, you know. It's just a place to shop, you know, and, and I go there because I can save more there on what they carry versus going somewhere else. But uh, anyways, if you guys are not a member, you guys can become a member. I think it's 49 bucks for the year, but it's a free 30-day trial up to 30% off on the site. If you guys uh, want to check that out, I'll have a link down below. Definitely check that out. Mark says, in the 50s here in Indiana, I might go fish with Wombash well, Bassin or go and fish the Wildcat Creek. That's cool, dude. Let's see, I don't know yet. First, first step was get the camera. Had to buy a manual. It will be here Monday or Tuesday, I hope. Tomorrow, I have to go shopping for a new fridge. Ours is shot. I got you, dude. Man, I hope you enjoy filming. I tell you, when I first started it, man, it, it was more work than what it was worth. I felt like I was messing with the camera more than I was fishing. It's like your mind was never on your next cast. It was like, is my battery dead? Do I have enough room on my card? Or 
you know, it, once you get past all that, it becomes fun. And then when you're, when you're not recording, you regret, you regret it because you caught a, a great fish or something funny happened and you wish you're recording. But in the beginning, it, it, it can become a hassle. So stay with it though, man, and you will enjoy it uh, once you get the hang of it. What's going on, Parrot? Rod and Royal tackles organized, now rigging combos with 2020 starting lineup. Careful. Super glue produces heat when drying can damage line. Good point there, dude. Man, I don't really have I started organizing tackle. I got sidetracked. Haven't been messing with that. And I haven't spooled any lineup yet. I guess I just, I don't know, I've been waiting on the boat to do stuff, and uh, now I'm going to get all backed up because I really haven't done much at all just because I've been waiting on the boat. So I guess I should get it all done now. So when it's here, I'm ready to roll. What's going on, Mike? Going to get the Bass Cat Pantera 3 out of storage here this week and getting it ready to put my new Helix 10s on. Ice is thawing out here in Michigan. Time to get rigs out for sure, man. I don't try and fish really um, all year this year. Normally, I just stop fishing usually in December, and I just call quits till usually March. But uh, I might go to some more power plant lakes, something like that, this winter, and just keep fishing. Normally, though, during the winter, I just my work schedule is so up and down with the weather. It's just easier just to not fish, just concentrate on work and things around the house. But I'm going to try and fish um, throughout the year this year. We'll see how that goes. Flip and use a black marker to darken your braid. No need for a leader. That's a good point, BT. I know the um, Seaguar, they make a flipping braid that comes black. The only thing I didn't like about that, though, the diameter is much bigger on that braid compared to uh, their Smackdown or just other braids in general. So I was using that for a little bit, but I just didn't care for that bigger diameter. Got to use my new Batanium XG2025 pound Smalley. Awesome, dude. Fantastic. Went yesterday for a little while. Yesterday put out a 4.5 plastic meal chatterbait. Looked awesome in the water, but didn't catch a thing. Dude, stick with it, Will. You'll get one, man. And hey, what are the five lures you plan on throwing the first day you get out on the water? Uh, by the time I get the boat, get it broke in and start fishing, probably five different color square bills. <laughs> square bill for sure. Square bill, spinner bait, chatter bait. Um, probably, probably a top water frog, and either some sort of Texas rig. If I find, if I come across some bedding fish or something like that, Texas rig or a jig. Probably like a tube, tube and a jig. Right, here we go. What company do you buy your tubes from? For the longest time, I was using Yum Tubes. So that was back when they had the, um, I think it was the LPT. I really liked that scent. I felt I did good with that scent and the size of the tube. Then they switched to the, what's the new one? F2, I think. And they made the tubes bigger. And I didn't care for the scent. or I didn't feel that maybe the fish care for the scent is good. Um, or as much as because I didn't do that well on those tubes compared to the, um, the LPTs. So now I mainly use the, um, what are they called? I think the, the Mega Strike tubes. I use those. And the video that I put up, I think it's how I fish a tube. That's the tube that I'm talking about in that video. And I also use chomper tubes too. What's going on, Timothy? We got 78 people on here. If you guys have not hit the thumbs up, definitely do so. I would wear my TJ1 shirt to church. There you go, dude. What kind of swimming jig would you recommend? Swimming jig. Let's see here, man. When I first started swimming a jig, I was using a Booyah Boo Jig. And it's not really your traditional uh, swim jig with a head, tapered head, and it worked really well for me. I still use them to this day. Um, other than that, I love the, the Z-Man. I've been getting those at Carl's, the Z-Man. I think they're called Snakehead Swim Jigs. I love the Picasso Swim Jigs. You guys wanted me to review the Six Sense Swim Jig, and there's a dozen of those in my Tackle Freaks order. But the main ones I use, I'm going to say, um, I started using the Z-Mans later in the season last year, so those aren't like my go-to yet, but I mean, I really do like those, especially when I want a smaller profile. Other than those, I use the Picasso Swim Jigs the most. Kendall, what's going on, dude? 
Review the Chase Bates Mud Bug Craw. They look sick. Would like your thought on him. Okay, dude. You didn't have any room for me. This tackle junkie's in here and there's no room for it. Move my plate. <laughs> there's no chair in here either. No, you're like not prepped for me at all. Hey guys, what's going on? I'm not prepared for you and like like dinner wasn't ready like when it was supposed to be, you know? Hilarious. Hilarious. Picked up the Concept Z for 130 tax and field stream. Did it and find sale on lunch, no Lunchables. <laughs> Does anyone know why they're getting rid of the Z? I'd like to know that. You know, I wanted to review that reel this year, but I mean, being that it's discontinued, I mean, I, I still may. I didn't use it enough last year to review it. But, uh, I mean, for the short time that I've had with it, I mean, it's a, it's a really nice reel. I'm not really sure why they would discontinue it. What's going on, Chuck? Brock, what's up, TJ Pump, for the warmer weather here in Illinois? Me too, dude. Going to be bringing my channel, Bass and 227, back. Going to be doing some videos with my oldest. That's cool, dude. I tell you what, man. Uh, go ahead and send me uh, your channel, Instagram, or Facebook. I'll give you a sub. Looking forward to the videos. What's been your favorite apparel for the summer? I'm going to say my favorite shorts, favorite fishing shorts I've ever worn, have to be the gill. Gill shorts. Shirts, probably my own. <laughs> um, other than my own, I'm going to say probably... Um, Gills are nice, but my favorite shirt is probably going to be, I'm going to say Sims. Sims or Hook. And for gloves, you guys know Fish Monkey Gloves. And uh, you guys can use my code, TJ81, 20% off. Man, Matt says, Carl's is awesome. I just picked up more of the Bubonic Bug Square Bill for under 6 bucks. Some killer deals on the site. For sure, man. I don't know why some guys get so bent out of shape when I do a Carl's video. I mean, I'm trying to do save you guys money. I don't get paid if you guys click on that link or not. It's, it's not based on sales and all that. But I mean, a lot of guys are shopping. They're on a budget. I mean, and you really can't get the stuff much cheaper than on Carl's. Now, they don't carry everything, obviously. That's why I'm going to Tackle Freaks for everything else. But whatever I can get on Carl's, I'm getting on Carl's save money. Guggen Slayer, what's up, dude? Green Pig Hunters in the house. Willing, appreciate two bucks, buddy. We're interested in the giveaway. Thanks for the heads up on the mended. No problem, man. A lot of good feedback on that video with the minute. A lot of you guys are digging that stuff. What chatterbait should I be throwing in muddy water? Uh, I've had the best luck with the shock blades. Black and blue, black. Uh, the purple, to be honest, I think it's called Purple Phantom, is one of my favorites. It works the best. There's Miss Tackle Junkie. Sporting the TJ81 gear. That's the shirt right there. Right. I've got the link, or not the links, but all the info on the prices and everything. I'm not sure they can hear you whispering that quiet like that. I'm going to speak up a little bit. Okay. <laughs> hey, Jim. God bless you, buddy. Great to see you, bro. You too, buddy. Glad to see you, man. Uh, I've seen several people getting goldfish square bills painted up. Have you ever used a goldfish square bill? Goldfish. Like an actual like color, like the cracker goldfish? Is that what you mean? I did pick up, um, what's it called? I think it's it's a Berkeley square bill called Gold Digger. And uh, like I said, it had gold sides and all that. And you know how gold works in the lakes that we fish. So I've seen that color. And I picked that one up. But as far as like a goldfish cracker? No, I've never seen anybody do that. or I've never picked one up like that. I've never used the red label, James. I mainly use Invisex or I've used a Brazex, but I, I pretty much stick to Invisex. I didn't see the uh, point for me to spend the extra money on the Brazex for how I fish and where I fish. Doug needs to start organizing tackle too, but too lazy or busy at work. I mean, I mean that's what it is with me. I, I get all pumped for it like in December. You know, I'm going to get everything all organized and be ready to go come March. And then it's like the cold weather just depresses the heck out of me and I don't want to do nothing. <laughs> And then, of course, it gets here, and I got nothing ready. No problem, BT. Appreciate it, buddy. I caught him on a square ball, 38, 41 attempt last year. Kind of crazy. I think I want to say it was 42 degrees. Could have been 48 degrees. It was a video I made. It was years ago. I would tell you to find it. But I'm not sure if you can find it. But it was, um, I don't know if it was How to Shallow Crank or 
how to toss a square bill. But in that video, you see me all bundled up and all that. I want to say the water temp was around 42. And that was my last square bill fish I caught that year. And I mean, it was a little fish. But anyways, I did catch one that day. What's the difference in name brands of tungsten besides price? Uh, you know, that's a great question, to be honest with you. Um, I guess some companies say maybe their holes are smoother than another. I mean, paint finishes, things like that, or some are more pure than others. I mean, I'm not saying I really um, look too much into that. I've always went with somewhat of um, a better name or like a, what do you call that? Like a better brand, hoping that I have a smooth holes and all that. That's really what it is. I think I've always used um, Strike King, um, True Tungsten. When they were going out of business, I bought a bunch of the True Tungsten stuff. Um, Eco Pro. I mainly use Picasso stuff now, but uh, Mustad is releasing tungsten, tungsten weights. And actually, I have some of those on the way uh, for me to check out. But um, I'll probably just be sticking with those, the Picassos and the Mustads. But again, uh, finish as well. I know some companies still just paint the weights, where like the Picasso, I know, and I know there's other brands as well, but the Picasso ones that I use, the Mustad ones that are coming out, their black finish is like within the weight, and it doesn't chip off. So that could be a deciding factor for one company to the next. But again, a lot of them just claim you know, as far as uh, their holes being smooth or things like that. He likes the swim jigs. Where are we at? Six on swim jigs are the deal. Love the Picasso chatterbaits and spinnerbaits. Yeah, I'm trying. I'm curious to use the uh, their swim jigs with that screw keeper on there. But I can't really say I've had any issues with my, my trailers uh, sliding down on any other ones, though. But we'll see how they do. They do have a nice big hook on them. Um, love the detail. You know, a lot of the six cent stuff has really nice detail. Not that that really matters in the mud holes that I fish. Have fished any of the Guggen Squad baits at all? I've only fished the square bill, and I have a review on that. 131 people still on here. If you guys have not hit the thumbs up, definitely do that. Yep, there's a little hook and sinker. Hey, Miss TJ. Speaking of swim jigs, the dirty jig ones are really good. One of my favorites. Yeah, man, Matt, dude. I used to use those years ago, too. Not sure why they're ending it, but I assume they will be replacing with the new version. Can't think of another reason they would stop making it. I was kind of thinking that um, the Inception Sport Z came out with the same bearings. Maybe it's pretty similar, and they're just discontinuing the... The, the Z, the, the orange one, because they got the green one out now. Who knows? What has been your favorite rain suit? I haven't used a bunch to really say, you know, my favorite or the best, just because I've really only used, as far as heavier gear, I've only used the Pro Qualifier, and then I use the 100 mile per hour gear. Um, the 100 mile per hour gear, I believe, is definitely better. It's thicker. Where I work in a lot of the pro qualifier stuff, and I've always gotten wet in that. As far as a lighter weight rain suit, uh, really the only lighter weight rain suit I've ever used is the Gill Pilot Suit. And I have zero complaints with that. It's a great suit. So I really don't have nothing to compare them to, but I was very happy with both of those. Uh, the Z's got that uh, pin breaking. It's got a dial. Just like the, uh, the Kuma TCS has got that dial on there. Looking like Carl's and the Guggen guys are doing some things together. Love them or hate them. Guggen's have some good soft plastics. Yeah, I agree, dude. Yep. I think they're all, either they are down there now or they went or they're on their way or whatever. Uh, I think they're all going to Mexico. Tom says, Fluke Master said he thought they'd be bringing out a new model to replace a Z. He said that was normally what happened when they discontinue something in their lineup. I got gotcha. you. I wonder how they would really improve on that one, though. I think that weren't worth the bearings the big deal on that reel. Chris, I got some of them straight shooters, bud. Haven't used them yet. But yeah, I mainly use this, the Picasso, just their, just their regular swim jig. But yeah, I do have some of those, uh, those uh, straight shooters. Brian says, so took my low budget GoPro knockoff with me last Monday fishing, started recording. 
I didn't realize how long I was recording until I got home over an hour's worth of footage uploaded it all to my that's cool dude Doug says what's up oh to your channel I got you dude okay SNL just got better oh because the dog's in here yeah because the dog's in here she's had too much fish is there any fish left there's a little bit Ooh, man. Some? no let her talk we could hear <laughs> any questions for Miss TJ Late to the party, I'm liking the warmer weather for sure, dude. Tight tungsten are really good. What's the best finesse swim bait? Um, good question, dude. Um, if you're talking like little boot tails, things like that, I'm trying to think all the different ones that I use. Of course, the Exo Swims, the little Kitex. I really like the Rhythm Waves. I don't really know what you're really, really what you would consider like a finesse swim bait. Um, what else do I use? Um, the Excite Baits. A lot of those got a pretty good kick to it, though. I'm not real sure if you consider that like a finesse swim bait or not. The Goldfish Square Bills I've seen lately are painted orange with white bellies. I can't say I've seen those at all, dude. What's up, Becca? No GOT tonight. What's GOT? Game of Thrones? Game of Thrones has been off yeah, for that's a been while. Off like a long like, time, come dude. on. Get with the program, Wadded. When the water temp's in the 40s, it's tough fishing. For sure, dude. For sure, man. Hey, TJ, what new gear are you excited to fish this year? As far as um, equipment goes, I'm... Pump to fish the Steez A and the Metanium DC. Um, I never really thought I'd ever spend that much on a reel. But she was buying so many shoes, I figured, why not, ha! you know? Ha! So I figured, I figured, what he the lies. heck, just do it, you know? How long have we been on? Have I missed much? We've been on 43 minutes, dude. Haven't missed too much. Any opinions on the new Tatula reels over the Akuma reels? Um, the new the new Tatula coming out, from what I heard, is basically the Elite with an SV spool. As far as being different than the Akuma reels, I mean, I haven't used the Elite or the, obviously, the newest one. So I really can't compare it to that. But in my review I did on the the SV-103, what's that called? The SV, is it the 103? New Tatula SV. Not the newest one, I guess last generation. I compared that reel to the Akuma reels because I felt that's two reels that uh, I felt could do pretty much a little bit of everything. You know, light line, heavy line, lighter lures, heavy lures, no problem. But again, I really can't compare it to the Elite or the uh, the new SV as I haven't used them yet. We'll see though. I may pick that one up for sure. But your go-to size on the Picasso Chatterbait 3 8 bud. Swagger Tackle Tungsten. What's your favorite buzz bait? Seems like every brand I buy after one fish catch the buzz bait never runs true again. Yeah, they can get out of tune pretty easy. But uh, I probably use the Picasso Dinner Bell the most and the Cavatron, Mega Strike Cavatron. The Cavatron, man, it's, it's tough to beat, dude. Braid, usually Sunline FX2. Is that thunder? Yeah. Is there any hail? Yeah. You check hail. Then you pull your okay. pull your jeep out. I don't think so. That's <laughs> not happening. Yeah, I was I was getting the garage for a little bit, and she went and bought a jeep uh, yesterday while I was at work, and I lost my garage spot. Can you use a four out hook on a six inch plasma tail? I believe on six five I use a four out. So yes, sir. Round bent offset. Yeah, the C the C Z B bearings were released with that reel. I think the Inception Sport Z inside has a little cheaper material on gears, etc. And that's what I heard. Like the worm gear on the Z is different. Okay, I got you. I got you, Sean. Debo's actually fishing works in my uh, Debo's actually fishing works in my office. I need to hit him up up and see if you want to fish. Gotcha. 
Wattage, you're on my list. I just want to let you know. What do you do? Did I miss something? Oh, you'll see in a minute. I meant best finesse. Oh, finesse. Best finesse swim jig. Um, what I usually when I want a smaller profile, I undercut the skirt. So I mean, that's what I do if I, I'm looking for a smaller profile. If you want to call that finesse, just take your swim jig, and I just cut the underside of the skirt down to pretty much cut it down to the rubber band. The way I just have the outer strand gives it a much thinner profile. But I do believe um, if you want one like like that's labeled like finesse swim jig and all that, I think uh, Dirty Jigs has one. Um, who else has them? They actually have them already pre-cut, like undercut. I'm sure other companies do as well. I know for sure they do because I used to buy them. And then I just started buying whatever ones I wanted to and, uh, like I said, undercut them myself. I do believe Strike King, I think it was Strike King KVD Swim Jigs. They were undercut as well and had a light wire hook in them too. What do you like about the Connect Scale versus a regular scale? Turning scale like Rapala. Do you like the Bluetooth functionality? Uh, Sean, to be honest with you, man, um, I don't even use the app. It just seems like a, like an accurate scale. I test it from time to time with weights and things like that. Every time I check it, it seems like it's right on. So, like I said, I don't use any of the special functions, none of the like, tournament features. I don't like store fish. I just pick the scale up, weigh the fish, and that's pretty much it. But it seems very accurate. Question for Miss Tackle Junkie. Have you ever done a video on photo period and how it affects fish? I believe photo period has more of an effect on bass than water temps and transition seasons. I have not. Um, that would be something interesting to do and look at. I, I really, I really don't know how the photo period affects fish. We only did um, with the moon phase, um, with the full moon, the brighter moon. Of course, they're feeding a little more active then, but it'd be something interesting I could look into and see if I can maybe do a video on that. Oh, real. Blue Boy, appreciate you, Bucks, buddy, into the giveaway. How is the Garden YouTube channel going? We need an update. <laughs> I would like an update as well. I mean, there was, there was a lot of talk going on, and I'm not really sure if... Hey, me and Michael have tested out today. We, because the weather has been so crazy here... I don't want to start it too soon, but I am going to be doing a video on how to build your own light bank to start your own garden inside from seeds and then transplant it outside. So she, hopefully she's, soon. She's been talking about it for a while. I know a whole lot of talk. I'll just make you build the light bank. I got time for that. I think everybody should thumbs up if Jim, time. TJ, should help build the light bank. I got time for that. Do you guys want to see me fishing? Or building light banks. Let me see. One for fish and two for light banks. <laughs> Let's see it down here in the comments. That's cheating. No. That's cheating. Heels and reels. That's a pretty good time. Never followed Game of Thrones. You have talked about it in a while. A while back you said Ole Miss CJ was getting her own channel. Is it up here? Is that what he said you were mad about? Who? Michael. I? No. He wanted to know how long it would take me to knock off my mirror. Oh. And th I this is definitely wider than the Impala mic, so I'd give it. Don't stick out as far. I'd give it a week. Are you jinxing me? No. Yeah, really. Let's not talk about that. <laughs> I don't want to buy another thousand dollar mirror. <laughs> well, it's true, ain't it? Out of all the tackle backpacks you've tried, which one is best and worth the money? Doug, great question. Oh, uh, let's see here. Um, See, I haven't used the Ego that's back there. I have a feeling, though, the way it's set up, it's going to be one of my favorites. The PC Fun, the PC Fun one that I used last season was a great bag. Uh, the Akuma bag that I did a video on, um, I don't know if you want to link that down below or not. It's, it, it's a really big bag, which a lot of guys, um, I only used it a handful of times, and a lot of guys said if you're going to be like a true bank fisherman and you really load that up, it'd be a ton of weight. But that bag had a ton of storage in it. It, I think it held um, a couple 3700s and then a deep 3700. And then you can also put them up top as well. So there was a lot of storage for boxes, but it was just a big bag. If you're looking for a lot of storage, I would definitely recommend that bag. I've used a smaller Akuma, like 3600 series bags. They're kind of similar to the um, Ego bag back here. 
Uh, like I said, the PC phone was really good. Other than that, I just used regular backpacks. Those are really the only fishing bags that I used. But um, they all had little features that I really liked. Again, I do believe the Eagle back here is going to be probably my new favorite. But, I mean, they're all pretty good. I think it really depends on what you're really looking for. Storage, I mean, the, the Eagle bag back here has got a lot of big storage compartments versus a bunch of smaller ones. I think you can put a lot more in the Eagle bag versus some of the other ones that I've used. If we get hail, is it, you need to look on there if there's hail. I'm looking right now. I don't have to go park the truck. Where? Where At a gas station park? or something. <laughs> can you go into the... The Rebel, the Rebel had got hail on it twice. I told her when I got this truck, I'm not getting hail on this truck. You can go to the um, car wash. Sit in the bay. I will. I'll go pull in the car wash. I don't care. It's raining pretty hard. Just a heads up for people that do live stuff. In order to give you a thumbs up, you have to X out of the chat, give me a like, then go back to the live. The first 10 times I did it and didn't know that. That's cool, dude. Hey, Miss TJ, I surf fish as much as I freshwater fish. My question is does ocean water warm up as fast or faster than freshwater? Well, just remember with ocean water, you're dealing with currents and everything else. So it all depends on really where you're located. Um, and with fresh water, it depends on um, really the air temp, wind, all those things um, can affect it. So really, I don't know how to answer that. <laughs> it all depends on where you're at, I guess. That, is, that, is that hail? No, that's rain. I don't know what it's hitting though. I would like, I would just pass out. Yeah, I, I just. How many drop shot videos and tips and tricks you're giving us this year? Mad Matt, I don't know, dude. At least, probably at least one. I'll do a special just for you. Have you used a Shimano Corrado DC? Thoughts on it? Yep, dude, I got a uh, review on that, babe. I'll link that review in the comments. Review for what? Shimano Corrado DC. I think it's a fantastic reel. It's a fantastic skipping reel. The only downfall for me with that reel was comfort. But if it's a reel, like I said, you're going to like pitch a jig with or skip with, it's fantastic. But it's not a reel like I would want to palm all day and crank with. It's just not that comfortable of a reel. But again, it's a fantastic reel, though. Any new baits that you're excited to fish with? Uh, you'll see all the new baits coming probably... Probably end of this week or the next week, I'll have that video up for you guys, and it'll be a bunch of um, bunch of square bills. Oh, there's Mike's a comment right there about your mirror. Yeah, he's going to get it. Just go catch another fish in its eye. When are you going to start fishing this year? I, Russ, I'd like to get on the board this year. This year. Of course this year. I'd like to get on the board this week. So maybe tomorrow, maybe Thursday or Friday, I might just go down to the little park lake right down the road here. And see if I can get a bit there, just just to get on the board. But obviously, uh, my boat's not here yet. Probably three or four weeks, five weeks maybe before it even gets here. So it'll just be bank fishing for now, going to the ponds, things like that, which is normally what I do anyways, usually till about May. But um, hopefully this week we're on the board. Uh, I love the sound effects. Oh, you guys can hear all the thunder. Wait, what were the numbers for? One was fish. Two was me build it. I think. One was you build it, and two was you build it. Because there's a bunch of twos. Was you build it. There's twos in here. <laughs> well, I don't two was you build it. Two, two was I build it. Block these people. Block Joe. <laughs> well, he said fishing. I don't remember what it was. Thumbs up, twos. I, I think they both mean like, like building. Uh, good day. Have you fished in Australia? I have not. I have not. I, really I would love to fish in Australia. I will come stay with you. I would love to fish, fish anywhere together. other than Illinois. <laughs> you fished in Missouri. Fluke Master says you are an awesome cook. Cooking vid, please. Italian. She, she is. I mean, she's she's one of the best. Thank you. I um, There's only certain recipes that I can do because um, his family, his mother, will put me in concrete booties and float me in the river. Float by sea. Yeah, a lot of these recipes cannot be given out. Mom, if you're watching this. I wasn't us, allowed to have a lot of them until after we were married. Yep. It's an Italian thing. <laughs> you guys are, if we ever get around to doing it, we have to do it this Thursday. We got a catch and cook video coming for you guys if we can get around to, to shooting it. We could do um, 
the chicken spadinis is my recipe, so. But the stuff you put on those spadinis is in spadinis. So you probably can't put that one in there. You might have to sign a waiver or something. <laughs> I probably would. If your mother is on right now, um, I think you we need to ask her. Aaron says, Miss, did you have the love for fishing before James, or did he just wear you down with his passion for fishing? You probably fished your whole life as well. I, yeah, I pretty much fished my whole life. I didn't really get to where I liked to fish until we started going together, and it was kind of like our, our date night. Where we get to go out. And Whenever we weren't buying shoes, we were fishing. Yeah. Phantom fishing in the house. There's my guy right there, man. Go sub him if you haven't. I mean, if you got nothing else to do and you're really bored, his videos are fantastic, you know. <laughs> dude, you know I love you, man. This week, dude, I'm telling you, if you can't get off work, just quit. We are going fishing this week, man. No, I've never fished Rin Lake, but I do believe all phantom fishing here has fished over in Lake. All right, Fisher Fat Man. The dog's name is Bella. There is the Corrado DC review. Oh, you got it right there. Just starting to ice fish. First baits, I'm starting out with early spring. Depending on water temps, um, it's already warming up pretty good now. So I'm probably going to start with uh, Chatterbait for sure. Um, Chatterbait, Jig, Square Bill. I'm sure I'll go ahead and bring out the, uh, the old spinner bay too. Sean, oh no kidding, it's 41? I expect it to be a little bit warmer than that. I'd imagine the bite was pretty tough today. How'd you do, man? Have you tried any other rod brands besides Dobbins, Akuma? Years ago, when I, I used to use a lot of the Bass Pro rods, and I used like all their series, so four or five of those. Um, Shimano. I use the Compre, the Crucials, the Kamaras, um, four different series of Dobbins rods, the Akumas, um, St. Croix. What else have I used? I don't think I used any Daiwa rods. Um, PC Fun. I think that's about it. Yeah, Matt, dude, man, I'm just not digging the hill. And what's bad about the Rams um, is the the tailgate is aluminum, and so is the hood. So, dude, when it hails, man, they just get, dude, they get hammered. It's terrible. Do you count square bills to fall asleep at night? Wait, do you see this yes, order? Yes. Wait, do you yes. see this order coming up, man? I love my square bills. Ranger three seven four, dude. That's hail, man. I'm gonna be hot, dude. It does not sound good up there, I can tell you that. Hey, TJ, still waiting, hoping you end up in Massachusetts so we can do some striper fishing. That would be cool, dude. If I'm ever there, man, I will hit you up. Please teach my fiance how to cook. I'm getting fat from all the takeout. You should do like crock pot meals that are quick and easy. Well, I'll tell you what, I mean, she is a fantastic cook. But don't think we don't do takeout. You know, we probably do takeout. A lot. What's there, seven days a week, maybe six? All the meals that I do... <laughs> all the meals that I, I do. I, I, I do a lot of Subway. Okay. I do a lot of Subway. Listen. <laughs> he explain. won't eat leftovers. <laughs> He's very picky. Um, Me? Picky? Yeah. I know. Right? Explain it. Explain um, it. No. Everything's homemade. Let's hear it. So hear it. it takes hours to make anything whenever I cook anything. Does it take hours like to, to make a bowl of rice? <laughs> TJ's going to show you how to cook. I might be in Subway yeah, seven days eggs. a week now. <laughs> but when she, when she does cook, hey, did we, did we tell them? I I am now, I cook Mondays now. Okay. And oh, I didn't it's cook. It's fancy takeout. <laughs> That's what it is. I don't actually cook. So he, he orders from a restaurant so that it tastes more like a homemade meal. And what was it? Where, where did I pick That's it up? That's nice. Bella Milano. Bella Milano. And I tell you what, it, 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 you couldn't tell. If I didn't bring it home in the bag and I just put it in the plate, she couldn't tell that, you know, I didn't, you know what I mean? Like it didn't taste you like. you know what you mean? Well, what I'm saying is she couldn't tell it was takeout. Oh. Because if I could cook, you know. If, 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 remember, you are the man that called to ask me how to boil a hot dog. I didn't know. <laughs> Did it float? Is it not supposed to float? When's it done? Question from Ms. TJ. Favorite reel? 
Which favorite reel? Mine? Yeah. Um, what's that one that you had me using last year? I used I used to love, I'll be honest, the Pro Qualifier. I loved it. That you used the Johnny Morris a lot. The Johnny Morris is great. Um, but what's the one you put me in TCS. last year? TCS. TCS. That one. I really like that one too. Yeah. It's, it's probably just because it's such a small I like reel. The smaller ones, yeah. yeah. It's more of a, I mean, it's a, it's a good power fishing reel, but it feels like a finesse reel. It's really small in hand. What's going on, Kevin? What's going on, Jerry? Go over the giveaway one more time for you guys before we end the stream here. We got the Bile Cross, two packs of the Plasma Tails. We got a lifted jig, two packs of the Rapid Fishing Line Guides, flat balls of B2, crankbait. Lucky Craft, Square Bill, and a little sample of Mendit. If you guys donate, you are entered in that little giveaway. Okay, where are we at? Baitcaster or spinning? That's a good question. Um, I guess it really depends on lures, really. I mean, light line, lighter lure is much easier to toss with spinning gear. And, uh, I mean, you're going to have way more line capacity with a baitcaster. Um, better for power fishing and things like that. So I'd say light line, more finesse, um, less line capacity. I'd go spinning, power fishing, heavier pound test, definitely baitcaster. I got a few good bites and catches today on a midnight special spinnerbait. Sweet. What color shatter bait do you use? I mean, black and blue used to be one of my go-tos, but I've, having, I've been having better luck with purple. So the purple, I think it's called purple phantom from um picasso has been like my go-to color that black and blue or like a shad color i tell you what where can i find those um i love the purple stuff and then uh picasso had this i think it's called tequila maybe tequila sunrise something like that but there's a swim jig from picasso and it had purple in it with a little bit of pink i just figured that would just be killer man so i picked those up too but yeah purple's been uh doing really well there Those aren't new. I've had those. So you don't need any more shoes, right? That's right. I need um, Jeep, Jeep accessories. And now we need all these Jeep accessories. <laughs> CW, appreciate you, Bucks, buddy. You're entering the giveaway. What size bass are you wanting to catch this year? I'm hoping for a seven. Matt, dude, seven pounds, man, is what I want because I went on the scale. If you guys have been with me for a while, you know that I believe my biggest bass is seven pounds. A lot of you guys are even saying it's bigger. If you can find that video, link that in here. I don't know the name of it. I don't even know what you're talking about. You know what I call the seven pounder right here. Where? At the tray pond? Yeah. When was that? A year or two? Uh, a few years ago. But yeah, I would like to have a seven pounder on the scale. Obviously, you know, if I caught, caught a bunch of fives this year, I wouldn't complain. But it would be nice to have at least one seven pounder on the scale. Was it just you or were you fishing with the boys? It was just me. Yep, Joe, I've tried uh, the six inch square bills. And you guys also asked about the finesse six inch square bill. And I got six of those on the way as well. Don't you love it when it's 60 degrees one day and your organizer tackle is excited to get out and then you wake up the next morning and there's snow? <laughs> yeah, we've been there, dude, for sure. Yeah, Lee, I guess this coming Monday is Subway. And Tuesday and Wednesday and Thursday. It takes a little, it takes like an hour to cook rice in the rice steamer. My family owns Chinese restaurants. Uh -huh. They make everything from scratch. I can't find anything to eat in my mom's fridge. It all needs cooking. <laughs> it takes us hours to organize our tackle and we know exactly where everything is. That's for sure. How many hours does it take you to organize all your shoes? Um, my shoes is a sad, sad comparison compared to your tackle. Sounds like, oh, the Phantom says, what? My rods are organized. That's they're organized. Fine. They're color-coded. They're organized on my yeah. rod sleeves. I My stuff's organized. My tackle, on the other hand, is not. It may look organized to you guys, but it really is not. Phantom says, sounds like you need to fish with Watt so he can get you something other than Subway. <laughs> I agree, Phantom. I could go for a free lunch, dude. I'm telling you, though, man, seriously, if you can't get off work this week, 
just quit. Let's get it done. Get on the board. At least two pounders, you know. We need, we at least need a keeper this week. All well, Russ needs to find a girl who likes fishing with him too. Uh, Kevin, tell me what happened between you and Dobby. This is more of a uh, customer service issue. Um, I don't really like to badmouth companies and all that, but like I said, there were, I got a couple rods. And I don't, I don't, be honest, I don't even remember what happened. I made a video on it. Uh, I don't know if there was a big gouge in the rod or something. And uh, I guess as since I was staff, they basically told me that um, too bad, you know, that's, that is what it is with the rod, you know. Now, I wasn't getting those rods for free, and um, I was paying for those rods, and we got a discount on them, but I don't care. This is just how I am. Um, I don't care if I get it for free. I don't care if I get a discount on it, whatever. If there's something wrong with the rod, I tell the company, because I personally think, what's that word? Um, what was I trying to say? Like, there's no quality control. Like, there's, there's zero quality control. And I'm sick of companies pumping out gear and just sending whatever to whoever and expect them just to be happy with it. I'm not that way. Again, I don't care if it's free or not. If there's flaws in it, I'm telling you about it. And I really, I do expect it to be taken care of. You, so these companies need to get better with their quality control. And um, yeah, so that's basically what it was. It was just an issue. And I guess it was pretty much how they talked to me. And I know the, the amount of rods that I was selling um, and not that I was trying to sell them. I didn't get paid to sell them, but I was using the rods because I wanted to use the rods. A lot of you guys are buying the rods. But I was using the rods. And I just thought it was kind of, you know, stupid that I had an issue with some of the rods that I ordered and they wouldn't even take care of me. They just pretty, pretty much gave me, you know, suck it up. you got a discount on the rod. And that's just, that's just not how I am. I don't, I don't care if I got a discount or not, you know. So, yeah, basically it was just the, the customer service issue. Miss TJ, do you ever cook baked ziti? I don't think you do ziti. No, we don't do any baked nope. ziti. But that could be something that I could come up with on my own. As long as it's not my mom's recipe, you can you can cook it. Well, no, because it's her sauce. So no. Being a single dad, I was told about the Instant Pot. It's like Instant a Pot's awesome. yeah. Do we have one of those? Yeah, that's what I cook. Um, we like to do if you do a whole chicken, do a whole chicken in there too. It's done in like what thirty minutes, and it's like falls off the bone. Didn't it you do a little turkey so in there? No, I did turkey breasts. Mm. Mm -hmm. They're good. Yeah, so it's like, it's like a, your own little Thanksgiving dinner. Thanksgiving in the middle of the year. Yeah, it's fantastic. In like an hour, it's great. I cook two pounds. We used to say cooker, but better. I cook two pound roast in an hour with all the fixings, cooked up beans, mm -hmm. in under an hour from dry beans. That's fantastic. That's awesome. I love my instant pot. Um, NTF, the old wiggle warts better than the new ones. Everyone says the old ones are better. I think it has something to do with like, uh, the bill or something wasn't aligned, which made it like, um, which made it hunt, I guess, more than the newer ones. I'm not really into the wiggle warts. I really can't say, but yeah, there was just some type of defect in the originals that made them, made them hunt versus the new ones. So. I really can't say which one's better than the other. What's your one and two go-to bait cast reel for small body cranks? Um, probably the Akuma TCS and probably the Tatula 100. That two, the Tatula 100, like I said, it's definitely the most comfortable tattoo that I've used to date. Smallest frame, very, very comfortable. Love the grips. Like I said, that one in the TCS, hands down, the, the most comfortable reels I use cranking. Don't forget to add the guy who donated mm -hmm. late to the giveaway. That's yeah, good. Yeah, you, you have the road down, don't you? Mm -hmm. yeah. Wait, I also have him in the numbers. Okay. Whenever I do it. Good job, Aaron. She's got that taken care of. Thank you, Aaron. Hey, Ms. CJ1, bought any Christian. What? Those are Louis Vuitton. Louis Vuitton heels before. Get her a pair for Christmas, the red bottom heels. I would love to have some of those. Sean, block Sean. <laughs> block Sean from the chat. I'm just playing. I'm not buying any more Z-Man. I hate it. I have enough. I'm going to definitely get Picasso just because Aaron Martins is so meticulous. I know them things are bad to the bone. 
For sure, dude. If Aaron's got a hand in it, you know it's perfect, man. I heard stories about that guy. You know, like, like uh, you can get like bulk hooks. Like Gamagasi might have like I don't know, fifty or hundred pack of hooks. Like he would go through like each individual hook and pick out any flaw in the hook and wouldn't even use them. So yeah, if that guy's got a hand in it, man, you know it's done. It's done right. It's perfect. Yeah, if it makes it to an outside party, it better be something they would approve. Approve of. Aaron, I lived in Sicily for three years. Oh, how do I miss the food? That's cool, dude. I didn't know that. You guys need to have another friends fishing competition video. Also know as also know as Watts pays for lunch fishing tournament. This thing. Oh, he says uh, turkey breasts are better in the air fryer. I'm gonna have to try that. Okay. What? Is that that video you did? Um yeah, that's the video right there. She's going to post the video in the comments here of my PB. Sorry, guys. I've been looking for it and finally found it. <laughs> Ed Wolf says, my wife plus Instapot plus air fryer lid. It's been awesome for everything but my waistline. <laughs> no <laughs> shit. No kidding, dude. Moody Cat, appreciate it. Buck Buddy, you're the giveaway. Listen to South Paul, man. Smash some thumbs up. Do that movie. I love that movie, South Paul. That's a fantastic movie. 118 people still on here. 117 thumbs up. If you guys have not hit the thumbs up, please do so. Round the world. So much tackle is just cranked out in China with little quality control. Then shipped here. It's up to the company to inspect for flaws and provide customer service. Yeah. That's why That's why there's so many people. That's why when you try and get a hold of somebody, you got, you got to wait like, like there's like 100 people ahead of you just because there is, there's zero quality control these days. They put more money in all the people they're paying for customer service because they didn't pay nobody to do quality control. It's a joke. Yeah. All right, Doug. Appreciate it, buddy. The L warts had a seam in the lip and were made with plastic that was banded for use due to being hazardous. YouTube fish video, what's going on, buddy? And there's the video right there, personal best. I had a lure from China that did better than the one I got made in the USA. And we are caught up on comments. I'll tell you what, um, let's go ahead and do. Nobody else donate. Let's go ahead and pick a winner now for the giveaway and include that guy anyway. from two weeks ago. And we'll post it up here. That way you guys will know live who won <clears throat> the giveaway. We'll have videos out this week, hopefully Tuesday and Thursday. So stay tuned for that. Uh, Ned rig or small crawl on a ball head jig for shallow clear water. Hmm. I'd probably uh Ned rig or small crawl on a ball jig. Touch me that Ned, Ned rig, dude. I don't throw it much, man. But I mean, a lot of guys that I talk to just just swear by it. I don't think you really go wrong with either one. I think a little Ned rig crawl that'd be killer. Just had to change the hooks. What is, what is, what's Bella? Have a poo. Have a poo. Have a, I call her have a rat. She looks like a rat. <laughs> Plan on buying any new stuff from the Classic Expo. I won't be going to the Classic, but um, I'm, I'm sure I'll get that new Tattoola. i do some saltwater fishing. Do you think that, that line sold at Walmart in a similar store is lower quality than other places like Tackle Warehouse? Like Red Label from Walmart is worse than Red Label from Tackle Warehouse? I've heard a few people say it is. Um, I wouldn't think it is, honestly. Maybe, and again, I don't even know. I'm just guessing here. Um, the line might be older, maybe at Walmart. Maybe they don't sell the amount of line that Tackle Warehouse does. I know Tackle Warehouse always clearances out and say they're cigar. At the end of the year, maybe it's not. Um, I would think it would be a great seller, but there's no telling how long they like to sit on that line. I'm sure they always want fresh line in, so maybe that's why they uh, discount it at the end of the year, like they always do during the Christmas sales and all that. But yeah, maybe um, it's older line that's been sitting around or something like that. I really don't know, but I'd imagine it's the same line though. I really can't see. 
I really can't see um, Seagar, you know, making two different grades of Red Label or whatever and giving some to Tackle Warehouse and some to Walmart. I, I don't see that, dude. Don't have any fishing shows, expos coming up in the St. Louis, Council area? I uh, sure don't, buddy. You want to do the... Um, we're going, she's going to go ahead and post now the uh, Super Chat winner. Tom says, the old Wiggle Warts were made from two different types of booty. What was that? B-U-T-Y-L? What's that? Plastic? So they sounded different. The two halves were not always lined up properly when they were welded together, and that's is what it... Oh, I got you. Holy crap, she looks exactly like my gizmo. He's a having he's pretty close. Yep. Yep. Stuff at Walmart is around forever. Have you seen new colors from Reaction Innovations? They're releasing the Expo. I have, man, Joe. And I tell you what, the what's the name of it? Actually, I screenshotted them on my phone so I wouldn't forget to pick those up. But I thought they said they're only available at the Classic, which kind of sucks because that, that color that it was like an orangish looking color would be killer on the lakes that I fish. So it kind of sucks if it's only available at the Classic because I'd love to pick it up. Line is the same. I got a Brazex spool from Walmart and thought it was on or old and then returned and bought from Tackle Direct and Tackle Warehouse and it was the same. Yeah, I'm sure it's the same, dude. Scott, if you're on. Oh, cool. He's on here. Sweet. It's always cool when they're on here and they win. Sweet. All right, dude. Um, where's my email is in the description or you can message me on Instagram, Facebook and I'll get that shipped out to you tomorrow, bud. Well, there it is. I didn't know she put the uh, deal on there. Walmart will make deals to undercut prices by cutting quality. That was told to me by Rep 2001. Example, one less bearing in a reel with the same model number. No kidding, dude. That's kind of crappy, man. I don't know how they would do that with line, though. You know? So, so we are caught up hour and 20 minutes in. What do you think, Bells? You got anything to say? She's like passed out from fish and bacon. Did you eat fish too? <laughs> she did. She had you big fatty? That's more thunder. That ain't good. TJ's probably going to be sleeping in the... Uh... I'm going to sleep on top of my truck. So wait, I take the hail for it. <laughs> I'm taking one for the team. You're laying on the hood. No. Yeah, I want that color too. I live on Lake in West Central Illinois. That's muddy. Yep. For sure, dude. That color will do it for sure, man. You know, Miss TJ one is always on top of everything. She is, man. I should have known better. Thank you. Most people are retired, work at Walmart. Till next time. That's right, Steve. I think we are going to get off here, man. I think get up there, shower, hit the gym early in the morning. I'm gonna try at least. That's my my plan next week. Up 4.30. Gym at 5. I don't no, know. who you're kidding. You want to bet on it? Oh, no, she has an alarm. <laughs> she has an alarm on her wrist and she still can't get up. She sleeps now with her with her fancy watch and she still can't get out of bed. No. It's too easy to turn off. And then I'm at, I'm at work this morning <laughs> with my son. And we're trying to call her all morning because I know she wants to get to church. And here she turns off, what do you, or she puts it on Do Not Disturb, on so, so she can sleep in more. No, I didn't know I put it on silent. I'll be at the we gym. We made it to church. We were only 10 minutes late. I'm I'll sorry, be at the gym. You can bank on that. You? Guys, looks like we are out of here. Hope you guys enjoyed the stream. Don't forget to smash the thumbs up. And we will see you guys on the next one. Really appreciate it, guys. You guys are awesome. Take care.